How's it going, guys? I am Connor from Running Warehouse, and I'm here with Alex Felitti in Austin, Texas, at TRE. This is the hub of running shoes. Every year, we come back here and look at the most exciting shoes of the year. This year was no different. We saw quite a few shoes at the event. This is your first time. What were your first thoughts? Well, first of all, it's, a, it's a, some busy days, Connor. Uh, you have lots of things to see. It's going really fast. You need to be prepared. And also you need to have your eyes peeled for some newness and for some excitement. Lots of it here, so maybe we can discuss a bit more of that. Yeah, you know, every brand came with the heat this year. And we're gonna go through a couple of your favorites. I know, I know you saw pretty much everything. What were maybe your top three shoes of the event? Listen, Conor, I, I feel like the first one would be the Brooks Hyperion Max. I really love the Hyperion Tempo two years ago when it first released. It was that nimble, fast, do-it-all type of shoe uh, with the DNA flash midsole. And here you have pretty much the same with a bit more stack height. It's that shoe that you can use anything from endurance spaces up to race day for people who, not, who are not willing to race with a carbon-plated shoe. Um, coming at a very uh, light weight uh, and all of that together makes it a very interesting offering from Brooks. Uh, I really love the Hyperion Tempo that's why I have to pick the Hyperion Max. And of course you got the Hyperion Tempo but you can't forget about the Hyperion Elite, that super shoe. But not every day you can run in a super shoe, a carbon plated shoe. It's a little too aggressive. I think this is gonna really bridge the gap of a great workout shoe. You can use it maybe for some daily training. Some people might race in it, but it's just gonna be a great shoe to pick up the pace. And again, it's not gonna be quite as aggressive as its elite counterpart. Now, moving on to shoe number two, what do you got? I have an interesting one, Connor. It's a shoe from Puma. It is the Forever Run Nitro. And why am I picking this one? It's because it's a daily trainer with some light stability features. And of course, that nitro, nitrogen infused TPE foam, bouncy with that energy return and that very different feel to it. I feel like the Forever Run will be that daily trainer everyone can wear, coming from stability runners to neutral runners who are looking for that extra guidance in their recovery runs. Yeah, you know, we're seeing super critical foams a lot in the racing space, but Puma's come all in and basically you look at their full line, they've gone the nitro route and for one good reason, it works. It's got that energy return, it feels good for daily training, racing. I think Puma is gonna be a shoe to look at in 2023. Now, shoe number three, what do you got? And this is the big one, Connor. This is the New Balance SC Trainer V2. V1 was a big hit for everyone. Very, very interesting offering at 47 millimeters of stack height in the heel. You have that extra leg freshness the day after a big workout, thanks to that foam, fuel cell foam. And here, New Balance is doing something special with the foam, a bit of a softer compound, uh, still that New Balance nitrogen infused TPU foam, a bit softer to make the whole shoe a bit lighter, the upper is revisited, and the stack high is coming down a little bit, which makes it, I think, a very nice upgrade coming from V1. I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah, you know, SC Trainer was a favorite of mine in the last version. I think now with a little bit less stack, it's gonna be maybe a little bit more versatile, but still retaining a lot of those key philosophies. A lot of great shoes at TRE this year. Really, 2023 is gonna be, I said it in 2022, bringing it back in 2023, the year of running shoes. So many great options. Those were just three. I also gave my own three over on Alex Felitti's channel. If you wanna go check it out, see what my thoughts are. I'm going in deep, I'm going in hot. And you know, again, a lot of great shoes. Now we just gotta wait for 23 to come. It can't come soon enough. If you're looking to get any of the shoes, they'll be available at runningwarehouse.com.